What's up, everybody? This is a force of nature, spiritual awakening, and I'm back with another Jupiter in the sign series. So, today we're going to be discussing Jupiter in the sign of Scorpio. But first, we're going to break down Jupiter and what Jupiter is all about. So, Jupiter is the planet of expansion. Jupiter is a very wise planet. Okay, it has to do with higher knowledge, higher wisdom. Uh, Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Okay, so any sign that's going to be in Jupiter, it's going to intensify it and expand it 10 times more on their characteristics, their traits. This is the area of life that... Um, Jupiter wants to bless you with good deeds that you have done from your past life. Jupiter does also have to do with your past life and deeds that you have done, okay? Jupiter also is about spirituality, okay? Accumulating um, spiritual um, awakeness. Everything that... Jupiter is going to give you does also come from a spiritual um, area, a spiritual realm. So now Scorpio. Scorpio is the planet of intense, deep emotions. Scorpio is very curious, cautious. Scorpio, the sign in general, um, Wants to pull back layers. Wants to get to the depth of a situation. Okay? They want to know the truth. They really seek out the truth. Scorpio's ruling planet is Mars and also Pluto. So now its first ruler was Mars and it still plays that same effect on Scorpio. Mars is the planet of taking action, physical action. It is the warrior planet, okay? It's about war. Um, Pluto is a very dark planet, you know? It's very dark. It has to do with death and rebirth, um, t building things up and tearing them down to build it back up again. Okay, turning yourself into something completely different, something brand new. So now Scorpio rules in the natal birth chart over the eighth house in the natal birth chart. So the eighth house has to do with things that are hidden underneath the surface. Okay, it has to do with taboo topics. All right, things that people don't really want to discuss or are afraid to um, discuss, bring up in conversation. The eighth house has to do with um, occult knowledge, hidden knowledge, okay? Also, the eighth house has to do with uh, sex. It has to do with pleasure. It has to do with uh, death and rebirth transformation, okay? So this is a very interesting um, house, Okay, Scorpio is very interesting itself. Okay, so now we just going to set it off right now. Jupiter and Scorpio. So now Jupiter and Scorpio, as we said before, Jupiter is going to expand um, the aspects, the traits, and the characteristics of the Scorpio person. Okay. So, in this placement, what Jupiter is going to do is going to have these people uh, bring out the knowledge, bring out that wisdom, okay, that they have and accumulated from their past life into this life, okay? So, now, in their past life, Jupiter and Scorpio, men and women, okay, have accumulated a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, specifically on the hidden knowledge, 
of the world, the things that are underneath the surface, occult knowledge, astrology, um, tarot card reading, um, what else? Palmistry. All of these things, these people have accumulated in their past life. And also in their past life, they were protecting people, okay, that were going to war. May so even that they were going to war, help helping them out, they had to be on the person's side, and now they're going to war with your ass too. They, they were very protective, okay? Could have very well have been one of their mates, mother, father, brother, sister, or friend. But these people definitely was down for their people. Whoever the fuck it was, they was down for them. Okay? Ride or die and rode with them. Rode out with them. So now, in this life, Jupiter opens up this door. Okay? And puts a protecting shield around the Jupiter and Scorpio people in this life. They are being protected as we speak, okay? Protected in a sense that, um, you know, not saying things won't happen to them, but you put Jupiter's putting the block, okay, where it doesn't get so far or so intense where they had to deal with that in their past life, okay? But with this placement, Jupiter and Scorpio wants to bring out in you and especially if you do have as aspects that are hitting your Pluto, hitting your Mars, Jupiter Mars, if you having um those kind of things hitting, um you will definitely um probably be an astrologer, probably be a tarot card reader, probably bringing this out into the world, the astrology and things that are hidden underneath the surface, okay? Scorpio, in general, is about pulling back the layers, getting to the depth, wanting to know, seeking out the truth. So in this placement, that's exactly what they're going through. But they're going to do it 10 times more, okay? You have to remember, Scorpio is a very passionate sign. They're driven by their emotions, okay? They feel it on a very deep, high octave level, okay? So now, Jupiter is going to expand this, okay? Expand their knowledge, expand their wisdom, expand these, these are the type of people that um, would probably even go to school, take classes, and become truly solidified and have that full damn stamp on what it is that they're going to do. They have a strong link towards something that's going to be spiritual and it could also just be religion okay they can be um preachers they can be speakers they can be um pastors priests okay they can be gurus they can be um something that has to do with um anything that has to do with the spiritual realm and bringing it to light So, Jupiter and Scorpio. Men and women, um, in this life, you know, anything, and like I said, they're very cautious, they're very suspicious people. So, yes, this is going to be um, in them 10 times more. So, if they are in a relationship, they're going to be highly suspicious and things of that nature. But what Jupiter is going to do and grant them is that ability to be able to express that um, researching nature that they have in them and bring it out into the forefront, okay? So it's not going to be left behind. Jupiter wants you to express the knowledge that you accumulated in your past life. Bring that out. Let people know that shit is real. Let people know that um, you thought it was hidden. I'm pulling this shit up. I'm letting you know what's going on, okay? Jupiter and Scorpio. What else can I say about them? Um, these people are definitely going to uh, accumulate a lot of wealth, okay? This placement does favor 
and you do have to look at your full birth chart. But this placement does favor the accumulation of wealth and being able to maintain that wealth also. Okay, so these people are going to have some money. They're going to know how to handle their financial business dealings and things like that because you got to remember they're very cautious people, okay? But they're very intelligent, okay? And just like with the sign Cancer, which is a water sign just like Scorpio, these people are very psychic. So it's hard to fucking fool a Scorpio person. Very hard to fool them because they are hit to your shit. They see shit at a glance. Okay? You can move your shoulder this fucking way and bitch, you acting funny. Okay? So, you got to keep this in mind. It's going to intensify these things ten times more. Their love nature. Scorpio, very sexual, very sensual. These people are going to... Um, be great sexual partners, lovers, okay? They're going to be able to bring this energy to the full front, all right? These are the people that are going to transform people's lives, okay? And this is exactly why I said with the spiritual field, you know, that the area of where people um, enlighten people, okay, these people can make these people. These people can make other people um, intrigued, wanting to know more about them, wanting to know about what they have to say, what they have to give, and what they have to bring. So they're definitely going to um, be able to experience and be able to be on a platform to speak out their truth that they so deep want to get the fuck out, they're going to be able to let the shit out so that people can um realize and recognize that uh, in certain religions, you know, you've been lied to, okay? What you thought it was, I'm sorry, sir, I'm sorry, miss, but this is what it is, okay? This is how shit really goes down. This is what's going on. Even in their relationships, they're going to be able to pull back the layers and get to the depth. They want to expose what the truth really is. They don't want the fucking fake. They don't want the lot. They're not fake people. They like real shit. I always say this. Scorpio people love real shit. So now with Jupiter, okay, being in Scorpio, Scorpio being in Jupiter, what do you think is going to happen? You better not be fake and be around them, okay? <laughs> you better not be fake and be around them. I'm telling you right now because these people, it might be off with your fucking head. You see what I'm saying? It might be off with your head. But Jupiter is the planet of expansion and blessings, okay? Every uh, deed that you did in your past life, Jupiter remembers, okay? Remembers it and opens the doorway in this life and makes that area um, where you're blessed at, okay? So with them expressing um, what they have learned is not going to be an issue for them, okay? Now, they can decide if they want to do this or not. Like I said, you do need to um, definitely get into astrology if you're not. Make sure you know your aspects, what houses, what planets are placed, how everything is um, connected so that you can get a full interpretation of your birth chart. And even if you have a loved one, make sure that you do get hit to the shit. If you need help, you can hit me up. Moving back to Jupiter and Scorpio. Okay. These people are going to be drawn to um, shit that's hidden. Okay. Jupiter can even place people in their lives. Okay, that are very mysterious and have secrets and, and have shit to them, shit with them. Okay, Jupiter can bring these people to their lives. All right, just so they can get that um more experienced, seasoned, perfective um, nature that they so bring. Because these are researchers, okay? Researchers, Jupiter and Scorpio. These people can be detectives. 
These people can be private agents. These people can be CEOs. These people can be police officers. These people can be spiritual workers. They can be all of these things. Okay? Because they got that mind. They know a lot of shit. Okay? So don't be fucking playing with them. They know what the fuck is up. Jupiter and Scorpio. Jupiter and Scorpio definitely going to um, be able to uh, maintain whatever they receive can be very wealthy, will be very wealthy in this lifetime. And it stems from the deeds that they have done in their past life. In their past life, you have to remember that Scorpio was ruled by Mars. And now it's ruled by Pluto. Pluto is the higher octum of Mars. Okay? So, it is similar, okay, because it does have that um, energy, that fighting spirit energy. But what Pluto is going to transform. So, what they are here in this world is to um, shed light into this world. Awaken people, okay? And... When they come into this life, they already come into this life consciously knowing that they are destined, that they have something inside of them to give to somebody else. These are very great helpers, very great at, um, they can also be counselors, life counselors, okay? They can um, put themselves in your shoes. They can communicate and talk to you. But their main thing is not the fake communication because they know how to, listen, they know how to talk to you, do wordplay. They're very manipulative. They know how to manipulate a conversation for you to expose your fucking self. So you better watch it. You better fucking watch it with them because... Like I said before, they know how to read in between the lines, okay? They know how to read shit. So, if you think you're about to um, have a conversation with them, tell them some bullshit, and you think they think that what you said was true or was for real, mm -mm. these are not that type of people, okay? But they will do excellent even if they decide to be... Um, an astrologer, okay? I'm going to keep saying it. And y'all probably like, she keep repeating herself. But I'm going to keep saying it. They would do very well in that because they already have done that in their past life. But they didn't speak out the truth, okay? They accumulated the knowledge, so they know it, okay? They know it to a T. They studied it up. But now it's their time to um, fulfill their purpose, their prophecy, okay? Now it's time for them to let others know the same shit that they know, okay? So Jupiter and Scorpio, you ain't got to be afraid. And I know Scorpio people, I ain't scared at all. So just know that, especially in this area of life, you can make very great wealth, Okay? Jupiter's already going to open up this door for you, this platform for you to um, speak your truth. Peel back these layers. All the research that you want to do, these are the type of people that will um, match up what they're saying with facts. Okay? They ain't just going to tell you the bullshit and not be able to prove the shit to you. They're going to be able to say, oh, well, you think that was some bullshit? Okay. And put it on the table. Well, what the hell was that? See what I'm saying? They're gonna be able to um they're gonna be able to do these things. All right. So that's all I'm gonna say about Jupiter and Scorpio for now. Stay tuned. I will have another one coming up, okay? Very shortly. Probably in the next 25 minutes, it's gonna be another one popping right back up. But thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate all the love and support. Um be sure to check out my online store. It is www.grimygear.shopify.com, and it's on Shopify. Also, if you need a caterer, be sure to hit me up. 
I am the chef goddess also at Supreme Royale Catering at gmail.com. If you need a handyman, contact my husband at Iran Nesbitt90 at gmail.com. I'm going to have everything in the description if you need this information. So please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you can keep getting notifications. All right. So this has been a force of nature. Love is love, peace and blessings to you all, and I will see you on the next one.